So Esteban, um, it was all going so well for you here in Monaco. You were in looking like finishing seventh place, reverse grid, um, front row start, but it all kind of went away from you. Can you talk us through your race and what happened at that chicane? Well, it was uh, a good start of the race because we could gain two positions with uh, by doing a good start and a good first corner. And um, basically, we had a very good pace through the whole race. The car was very well balanced. We were in a good position generally, and uh, after the pit, we we managed to get another place, which put us uh, on the position to to, to finish in P7. But uh, yeah, in the last five laps, I had a, a car lap in front, and uh, was tried to avoid him in the in the chicane. It was I didn't have uh, enough space, and I went in the curve and straight in the wall <laughs> because the car was a bit on the air. Uh, this was, you know, at some point uh, was my, you know, I, I could have probably avoided this by being a bit more patient through the situation. It's uh, always, you know, easy to say after the race, but uh, you always try not to lose so much with the, with the lap car. This is what I try to do. I mean, it, it happened now and I, now I have to be very strong psychologically to, to look forward and you know turn the page over you know for the next uh, next few races we have you're starting 23rd on the grid tomorrow what can you realistically achieve from there well tomorrow i will start the race to enjoy i will do my best if i can overtake i will overtake uh, but basically just to get the most from this opportunity to be racing in monaco in the streets of monaco enjoy the car uh, and I think uh, any result we get will be will be positive after today. Thank you, Esteban.